Hello everyone, and welcome back to NO 1800. Well, the main focus for today's episode will be a town in the new world, but as you can see, we will also do some small stuff around the old world as well. So, as I have said, today we will go to the new world and settle down, and as you can see, we will end up with a cozy little port town. It will come with its own unique set of production challenges, which we will tackle the beginnings of in this episode. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. And we are back. Alright, so I believe we were about to start hunting some pirates, right? So yeah, no wait, that's the flagship. Oh wait, that, that's one of the frigates. So what, uh, sorry, still in WASD mood. So these two guys will start hunting down pirates. They already have their targets, I believe. Let me just check. I believe it should be this one and this one. One of these is this and the other one is this one. Okay. After this, we will go after some of the other ships because I am frankly done with having these guys around. Now, after this, I think we will go out and maybe build a couple of things on the in the new world. I think that would be kind of nice. So anyways, let's hurry things along. Okay, so this guy is going after that one, I believe. There we go. Enemy target established. No, you are not done yet. Okay, what about you? Okay, this one is done. What did they drop? It was a bunch of sails, that's fine. And next one you can go after these guys, I suppose. If you can catch up. So you will go after this one. You are still chasing this guy down. But they are faster than me, so they might need to turn around for us to catch them. But it will happen sooner or later, for example with this guy and this one yeah and that looks acceptable to me there we go let's get rid of these guys okay you turn around and done so what did ah uh, didn't drop anything what about you? You are done as well, and there doesn't appear to be any flood summer floating around, so yeah, you are done as well. And that's done. So what did you drop? It was a dynamic loudspeaker. It's usable in the Harbor Master's office. It will affect all defense turrets when activated. Okay. 20% uh, extra uh, attack speed and 50% extra morale. It will last for 3 minutes and can be used every 20 minutes. Alright. Uh, this guy is a little bit run down, so you can come home, uh, home for now. And the only ship left is this guy. Yeah, that one can remain there, I suppose. So, um, let me see. Let's bring the frigates home. I will send one of them out on an expedition. And then, or maybe both of them. And then we will go and look at what we can do in the new world. Uh, let me see. 
Here's the first one and the second, I believe. Yeah, both of them should be heading home. Yes, they are. Also, I completely forgot to do this one when we place down this shipyard. Let's make sure that the output is right here. So every new ship will automatically come here. You can rely on us. Okay, so the first ship is home and the second ship is right here. Yeah, because of the damage, it's a little bit slower. Anyways, let's take a look at these guys. So, what kind of expeditions do we have? We have a pirate hunt, archaeology, a harder pirate hunt, or the land of lions. I, hmm, I think I will hold back on the land of lions. Let's just go for a pirate hunt for now. As usual, naval power, force and hunting. We will go for the Ave Maria. Put back everything. Um, yeah, we don't need the hull. That's fine. So, naval power. Definitely want to have that. Force. Um, okay, before we go, I would like to build up a bit of extra beef. For that, we will need to turn off um you know what both kitchens I shall not ask the four whys. there we go this should allow us to build up a bit of a stockpile of beef and once we have that one out of the way then we will load that onto the ship and that will help us with the force multiplier in the meantime I will set Sorry, threatening me. Um, okay. We either pay or they will declare war. Well, we can afford it, but not an ideal situation to say the least. Yeah, I don't want to have pirates on my back, so yeah, let's just pay it. Now that has promise. Uh, can I also increase reputation with that guy because it's 32 that's very likely that's great medium high I will risk it okay never mind offer gift for 7000 no and that's all we can do okay what about you? Medium high. Ah, that's fine. You were already at zero, so it made no difference. Um, as I was saying, I would like to sort out the trading volumes for these new goods. So for this one, uh, let's sell above. This appears to be a consumer good. So above 50. This one is a luxury need. So... 50 once again and processing good this one will be 10 okay how are we on the beef it is slowly building up okay also the other ship has arrived and thanks to this uh, repair crane everyone is in working order okay so pirate hunt for now, the hunting, um, we could use flour because this will also count as extra rations. Oh, right, before we go, um, actually, where is it? Flour. Yeah, that's fine. So at this point, flour is not just a processing good. It is actually a consumer good. So trade away after 50. So, where was the other ship? Yeah, you are fine. Okay, let's try the third time. So, as I was saying, uh, we will use this as the hunting resource. 
and the beef as the fourth resource. Uh, morale is only 91. Maybe we can have one of the characters as our first mate. Crafting, crafting, or medicine diplomacy. Or crafting for her. Mm. Let's go for this guy. Oh, wait. Uh, it needs to be in the cargo hold. Never mind. Hmm. Force multiplier. No. Okay, fine. Beef. Some more flour and 92% morale. I think that will be acceptable. We have everything. Everyone has a multiplier, so let's start. Sorry? What's the problem? There we go. Now the other ship. Um, I don't want to do harder expeditions just yet. So yeah, this guy can maybe not stay here. Maybe we can assign it to be a escort for the flagship. Yeah. At least keep it busy somewhat, yeah? Then this guy will go on a pirate hunt. And as for us, we will go into the new world. So we have these guys roaming around. Well, let's see what we have. Let's build a colony right here. Yeah, I think right here will be a good place for this station. Lovely. Let's see what we need to do. New achievement. An outpost in paradise. Okay. First things first, we will definitely need to have a marketplace as usual. Uh, which one? This is the flagship. Okay, it will get an escort soon. There we go. Okay, let's get back to work. So, a marketplace. I would like to place it right in between the river and the trade station so we can maximize the uh, uh, coverage. Um, here should be okay. Next, a road around it. A road to the docks and maybe some roads on the other side towards the river. Okay, next. Let's lay it down. But first, let's make sure we have the resources that we need to build stuff around this island. Um, these are two clay deposits, so I suppose this is a prime location for resources. We are going to have Two uh, lumberjacks hot there, then two sawmills. Ah, oh, sorry, I was expecting to. There we go. We are going to hook these together with roads, of course. Yeah, that will do for at least lumber. Ship under attack. Can you please give it a rest? New. This is the fr yeah, this is the expedition ship. Yeah, you will be fine. It's just the cannons. They are. Yeah, they hit kind of hard. Oof. That wasn't great. Um, the frigate can, take a few hits. can you please wait a little bit before you go? I just want to make sure that we at least heal up a little bit. 
Okay, let's get back to the new world. Can we squeeze in enough buildings in here? Yes, we can. Okay, so that is the right amount of spacing. Uh, for this one to work, we need 60 uh, farmers. So we will place down six residences as a start. But they are not farmers, they are... I don't know how to pronounce this. I suppose it's Spanish, so... Uh, Hornalero? I don't know. Please... Just let just know that uh, I ha Spanish is, of course, not a language that I know. Uh, we will place down a couple more. Workforce shortage. Yeah, I know. So now, oh, wait a little bit more for this guy. Okay, next. Um, we need to give these guys uh, right plantains, later ponchos, and we could also give them some rum and a chapel. We have access to the fried plantains chain at the moment. So first things first, we need a fish oil factory. I suppose for the frying oil. Yeah, it can be right here. There we go. And then a plantain... Uh, is it called? Plantain plantation. Okay. This one I will place... It doesn't really matter if it's too far away. Mm, maybe in this little corner. Yeah, it looks like a pretty decent place for it. What's the hold up for this one? Why can't I build a road? Oh, right, for the bitch. Okay. Well... Oh, right. Almost forgot. We need a warehouse. So, um... Well, do we have any more on the ship? No, we don't. Okay, I will delete this one. That sticks. Um... We don't get any more from these guys. That's not great. What if we delete, well, the, these don't require planks, so we wouldn't get any back. Mm. Yeah, having a uh, half refund is not ideal, because these take one boot, and that means we don't get enough as a refund. What about the marketplace? We will get plus five. Well, they will not be happy about it, but it has to be done. Okay, so warehouse goes here. Okay, let's quickly take care of this and then we can put back the marketplace. So for the marketplace, we will need only 10. And there we go. That was a bit hairy, but we got out in the end. So we will continue with this road this way as soon as we have 20 uh, wood at the ready. I'm confident it's ready to go. Let me see. Um, let me see. Edit, please. I don't want any unrest in our colony, so I will go for some extra money. And yeah, the plus minus uh, minus five happiness is acceptable, I think. Okay, publish. Now let's take a look at that other ship. There. 
you are back to working order, so let's get back to it. Start expedition. Okay. The people celebrate your leadership. Oh, thank you. To the edge of the world. I did not mean to delete the bridge. There we go. Okay, so we almost have a complete way through. There we go. Okay, so now this road is connected to the warehouse, which means that we can start setting things up in around here. So once again, we need a warehouse. And we will need a plantain plantation. Right here, we'll be fine. One twenty two, we need six more. I suppose they can go in this end. Now, this will let me just check the production graph, which is control Q. Uh, supply is all right. All oh, right, we need to have the actual building to make the fried plantains. Um, yeah, you can be in the town. And before I forget, let's make sure. Wait, where is. Oh, it's right here. For this one, we need 200. Let's just go down farmers. I. That's going to be easier for me. Okay, let's start placing down more of these guys. Okay, I'm getting back into the habit of building um, completely uniform districts, so let's try to break away from that. Uh, I was trying to do it here, but the spacing between these was very tempting to do it this way. Um, I will actually break it, break away from this on the other end. I want to look after everyone. Uh as a gift for me. Sure, thank you. I don't know what it is, but I will check on it in a second. First, we need to make sure everyone has a road access. There we go. Now, how far this marketplace reaches? Um, get nothing. Yeah, not the best for these guys, but mm, it's all right. So anyways, this plantain uh, I don't know what it what's the called fried plantain kitchen okay so for that the plantain farm is a one to one ratio and the fish oil hmm. did I delete that one yes I did okay there we go so now with this one it is also appears to be a one to one Right now we are just making enough, so I will get back to this in a second. Let's see what we, he has to say. Dockyard dupe. Robbed. Having thanked the generous innkeeper, your ship departed what seemed, the mo seemed a most hospitable port. Even at the time, your crew were surprised to see so many smiling faces gather at the dock to wave you off. A mere hour into the onward journey, however, it is discovered that a great deal of valuable property is missing from the hold. You must now decide if it's worth going back for. Um, 
I don't want to plunder the harbor. That sounds a bit excessive. Uh, in disguise and bait the robbers or appeal to the local authorities. Well, in hindsight, maybe some crafting and diplomacy would have been nice. This one has a success chance of plus 35. Hmm. You know what? They were asking for it. Swift justice. The petty harbor defenses crumble in the morning light. Your ship streaks unopposed into what remains of the smoldering harbor and turns its guns upon the harbor master's office. Please take anything he ups. You will find all your things in the warehouse and more besides. You profit from a scheme that has been running for years. All right. Um, they we can continue without extra rations. So, anyways, let's take one more look at the production. Yeah, it's fine. Next, let's sort out the ponchos. I think they can go right here. For that one, we will need one more warehouse, as usual, a alpaca farm. I expect this one to be the pastures. Yeah, four of these. One, two, three, and four. And we need a poncho darner. Okay. You can be, well, it looks like it could fit into the town. So I suppose you can be right here. Okay, what is the production looking like? Yeah, we are overproducing ponchos a tiny bit and the alpaca farms are one to one. Next. Okay, let's sort out the uh, fire safety. Uh, maybe no here so what's next we cannot have this uh, whatever this is we cannot have it because we don't have the fertility for it uh, what about well I suppose they will require rum Yes, rum is a happiness resource, so this one will require a lumberjack spot, sugar cane, and the rum distillery. Let's start with the distillery. That sounds like something that could catch fire quite easily, so I suppose next to the fire station sounds like a good idea. Yeah, then a sugar cane plantation that goes into the farming area right here um yeah right across there you go sit in the shade, boss. Uh, what was the amount 128 that's going to be a big one um there we go so production is there we go it is actually a one-to-one -one once again and we need I suppose lumber for the barrels. Uh, this one can go in this corner. Yeah, that will do just fine. Okay, so we are overproducing wood a little bit, but that's fine. I don't care. The ROM production is Basically, we are only using half of what we are making. What is this? Saltpeter, okay. I think I will increase the plantain because it is on the edge. Um, on this side, I suppose. So we will need one more plantation for sure. one space in between the farms and we can do it 
Let's make it a long plantation like this. Okay, and then we need one more fish oil. There and one more kitchen. I suppose right next to the fire station. Right. So let's take a look. Uh, what was that bell? Okay, not a fire. So um, let me see. Rum is fine. Fried plantains are fine. And ponchos are also close to the edge. So you know what? Let's take care of it. Uh, not here, but here. I suppose you can be there. Admiral! Admiral! Give me a second, please. There we go. So what uh yo wait 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 first let's make sure we actually place down the poncho factory I suppose Oh uh, there I will build a road around them and let's see what you need Uh oh doesn't look good Okay we had this one before We will maneuver into attack position Last time I believe this one failed You swivel on a sixpence ready to blow them away. Quickly setting sails to curb momentum, your ship turns into the shallowest possible arc for a vessel of this size, a maneuver only a tactician well accustomed to risk would attempt. Meanwhile, some of the crew have improvised a few grenades, should you want to make use of them. Um, no, let's just go for the best chance. Reward, reward discovered. The pirates are sunk before they have chance to do any damage at all. Your ship's guns target the most uh, mode ridden flank of the Corsair ships, smashing it through. The antique vessel collapses on itself, in on itself, and your sailors enjoy the resulting plunder almost as if they themselves had been the pesky uh, pickeroons. Okay, that is another word that I, I have not seen before. So anyways, map of ancient ruins. I suppose that will also unlock a new, whatchamacallit, expedition. Okay, except we will need to drop something. Mm, we had force and naval power happening in the last two event. So I think I will drop the beef. There we go. Confirm. Yeah, I think we can continue without extra rations. We are still quite high. Okay. Now, let's see what kind of decorations we have on this island. Uh, before we do so, let's place down a chapel. Um, How big is this? It is a 3x4. Mm, yeah, you know what? How would it look if we put it here? No, the coverage would be rather bad on this end. So it should be fairly central. You know what? We can have these roads here. Get rid of these. Move these guys down. And move this guy... Well... Here, I suppose. And that will give us the exact right amount of space for the chapel. So you can be... Exactly. Looks lovely. Okay, and it has pretty good coverage of the town. Let's see what else can we build. Uh, fur coats. Who needs fur coats? Oh, uh, sorry. We do honest work! Give us honest pay! Okay, fine. Police station. 
It can be here. I did not expect this to happen. It will take a bit of time for them to spring into action. Why are you rioting? Everyone should have everything at this point. Even luxury goods, so... There we go. Let me see what they were lacking. Okay, so... Intensity and done. Thank you. Needs. They have everything they need. And they have everything to be happy as well. So I don't know why they were writing. Also, this one doesn't have a warehouse. It is too far away from the harbor. So that means that we can have a warehouse right here. Okay, so who needs fur coats? Let's take a look at the old world. Uh, let me see. So peasants, I don't expect. No lifestyle needs. No. What about workers? No. And no. And lifestyle. Only rum they could use. Yeah. Now what about these guys? Oh, okay. They will actually not just uh, for happiness, but it is an actual need for them. Okay. And they will require a university at some point. Okay, they don't need it right now, but they will at some point. So don't need to worry about that in the new world. Let's, what's next? Uh, sales, maybe. Can we build the same kind of ships in the new world that we can in the old one? Let me just check. So, schooner... Gunboat, frigate, yeah, it's the same. Clipper and ship of the line. Okay, I don't think we are going to build any ships here. That's going to be done in the old world, at least for now. Ponchos we are okay on. Let me just double check on the production. Yeah, more than half, more than half, and way more than half. Okay, so we are fine. Um... So we have fire safety, we have uh, criminal safety. About this one, even though we don't have the fertility, let me just check. Is there uh, an Opedia? Uh, it's just for DLC and okay, it's not an actual encyclopedia, it's completely useless. Hmm. Maybe we can check in the production. No. Unless we are making it, we will not be able to see. Okay. So I don't know what this one will be used for. Maybe at some point. Also, we can have a pearl farm, but we don't have the fertility. That's fine. I, it's not going to be needed for now at least. Yeah, I think this town is chugging along just fine. Mm -hmm. I will place down a couple more residences so we can take full advantage of the uh, production that we are putting out and then... Or we could upgrade a little bit. So this will... I will go for a right next to the harbor or this district a new milestone. so now we have obrera okay Me might be a little bit easier to pronounce so these guys will require tortillas uh, coffee uh, bombings i suppose some kind of a hat and sewing machines. For happiness, they will need a boxing arena, beer, and cigars. Okay. 
Also, by the way, what is the lifestyle needs for these guys? Work clothes, soccer balls, belt, a beach. Okay. But before we do anything else, let's take a look at this one. The trial. Okay, we had this one before. Uh, I believe it was a complete mess the last time. It was the trial of wits. This time we will try hunting because we have a tiny bit of extra success chance. So, fingers crossed. Speed is not in your gunsling gunslinger's vocabulary. Oh, great. The Prince's Duelist, uh, displaying the look of men who fill graves but never dig them, is the sharpest shooter your sailors have ever seen. Your best shot is dead before he even touches the handle of his gun. Judging uh, his passing to be too low a price, the Prince randomly selects men among your crew and has them hanged for good measure. Ugh. Far from ideal to say the least. Yeah. They deserve some explorations for this one. Let's take a look at what we have unlocked. Okay, so this time we have a postal service. We might want to do that because that is a lifestyle need for these guys, right? What else? A hacienda. Okay. I think this is one of the DLC things because I have not seen this before. This looks like some kind of a um, modular palace kind of a thing. I have things to do. Okay, so first things first. I will set up a brick production. So clay pit and two brick factories, but this time they will go into town. Um, right next to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Do we want to have two? No, because we are already down on the second tier citizens. Um, in that case, you guys can be upgraded. That's 70. How many in each house? Only 10 for now because they don't have the needs uh, satisfied. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That will at least put us into the, well not positive, but at least net zero. Okay. Once we have enough bricks, I will upgrade this warehouse. There we go. And maybe even the main harbor. Yeah, I think that would make sense. It's all prepared. Let's take a look. Lack of variety. Okay, we don't I don't think we can afford to have extra consumption, so Definitely need to edit this one. 10% uh, extra money wouldn't go amiss. This uh, neutral one is fine and plus 5 happiness. Sure, publish. Okay. Um, you gained an influence bonus. Thank you. So, yeah, we have pretty much everything set up here. Just make sure. So enough rum, enough ripe plantains, enough ponchos, and that's all. Yeah, I will deal with the remaining needs at some point. Let's get back to the old world. Let's see. Oh, thank you. We might want to get our hands on the remaining islands and then allow these guys to settle the rest. Let me see. No, I think I will hold back on that a little bit longer. 
What I think we will do for the rest of the time is maybe do a bit of decorating. So first, let's do a bit of road upgrades. At least around the uh, relatively more affluent areas. And we are... Oh, wait. There we go. There and maybe a little bit more here. A bit more there. And I think... Well, maybe here as well. Admiral. Sorry, from here. Okay, in terms of roads, I think I'm happy. After this event, we will take a look at uh, different decorations. Okay, the haunted castle. Anyone home? Seeking refuge from a thunderstorm, your people dash for the Tumbledown castle. A flash of lightning illuminates the stark towers, barred windows, and the solemn stone griffins. Yeah, griffins, either side of the gate. As the last of your party crosses the threshold, an iron portcullis drops and clunks shut behind them. Despite their best efforts, your men cannot seem to lift it. The castle and its courtyard appear empty, but there is a sense that someone or something has been expecting you. Ooh, let's take a look. So, cry out that you come in peace. Look for a way out. Try again for, to force the gates. Now, will this consume this uh, item, I wonder? I will go for the best chance. There is a way to way out over the walls. Strangely, no ladder or stairs are found leading up to the high battlements, but the upper part of the keep appears attached through a maze of shadowy rooms and hallways lit only by the occasional flash, the crew discovers a staircase to the third floor. From there, they emerge onto the walls uh, and descend the dark and lush ivy on its exterior, welcoming the feel of the pouring rain from which they had so recently sought to hide. Okay, so we will not actually discover what the deal with this castle may be in another event. Uh, yeah, let's try not to go too deep down into the morals, so extra rations for everyone. So, let's take a look at decorations. I will trim these groves back and build the road a little bit further out there and this plaza will be a tiny bit bigger so let's see what we have i would like to have a centerpiece lined up with the main avenue if we can let's see no i would like it also be relatively central to the plaza so Maybe a 1x2 or a 3x2. Let's see, no. That's too small. Yes, exactly. I think this could act as a centerpiece. And maybe mm, facing towards the docks. No. Yeah, I think I will go for a 
nice, simple fountain. Great. Uh, it appears that the edges are actual, actually grass. So we might want to have the correct kind of decorations for that one. Maybe a pleasant park should be okay. No, I think I'm just going to go ahead and have these hedges and paths. Yeah, we are going to have a path going to this way. There, right around the fountains. And let me see, maybe a row of trees here. What kind of trees? Poplar? Maybe. Aspen? Hmm, maybe. Or an elm. I think two elm trees and... Two flower beds. Yeah, I think this will be just fine. Uh, as for these, I think I will actually change them around to be... Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, this one can be a, a crossroads. And this one a T-junction. Uh, sorry. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. Pick this one and build that. Oh, it's automatically trying to place. Maybe if we put it like this. Not quite. Okay, in that case, that can be a corner piece. Yeah. That will be okay. Okay, so, event. Expedition returns. Okay, so we are done and we have a ship piston engine that will require a steamship. And we have a map of a remote trading post. Great. And tintfish. This goes into a town hall and it will give us five happiness. Okay. Let's unload and uh, let's see. In the old world, we need to look for this island, which looks like this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see the orientation. Uh huh. So we have the S shaped river and is it this one actually? Ship under attack. Open map. Yes. I don't expect you'll show mercy. Uh, they are offering ceasefire for sixty. You know what? We have plenty of money at this point, so Call that a storm. at least we get a little bit of reputation with her. So anyways, I think the treasure should be somewhere around here. I will quickly drop off these guys. There we go. So. The river and we have these little outcroppings. So it should be right around this part. Let's speed up a little bit and. Yeah, that's the marker for the where we are going. Let's see, there you are. By the way, for this view, select a ship, press F1 and you will get into the cinematic mode. So we are heading here. That looks like the only possible option for this. Let's see, do we discover anything?
dive at the location marked on the map. Do we need a diving bell? Notify. Let's take a one more look. So, right after the second outcropping, so it should be here, I suppose. Okay, I suppose we need a diving bell. Let me. Boil of freezing my veins. Items. I don't see a diving bell. So maybe I don't know. Hmm. There you are. How do we get down? Yes, it definitely... Oh, wait. Maybe it's this one. But once again, how do we go down? I don't want to delete the quest. Hmm. Thankfully, we have plenty of time... So I think the episode is at an end at this point because my alarm just went off. So we might do this in the next episode. In between, I will try to discover what we need to do. And maybe in here, troll, escort, transit, no, idol, no. And nothing on here. Hmm, okay. I suppose we will do this at, at the in the next episode, and I in between I will discover what is going on. Uh, by the way, I don't think you need to worry about telling me in the comments, because as usual, I make these episodes well in advance, so I don't think I will be able to make use of those suggestions. General suggestions I am very happy to receive, but these kind of specific uh, tips I don't think will be as beneficial as I would like. Also, we still have some dock modules to place down, so that will have to be done in the next episode as well. Okay. Well, I think we need to say goodbye right now, because we are over time. Well, yeah. I believe all that is left to say is that thank you for watching. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. If you would like to support me a little bit more, you can do so by clicking the join button and becoming a channel member, which will give you an early and ad-free access to these videos. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you very much for your support. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.